Good morning and Merry Christmas everyone. It's me, Katie Beth again. And we have a special Christmas treat today. John VW is back with another episode of Real or Real. So if you love Disney and winter trivia, this one's for you. Hey everybody, welcome back to a very special year-end segment of Real or Real, where we take a look at a movie that's based on an actual event and we decide if elements in that movie were real, as in they actually happened, or real, they were made up for the big screen. So today I've got a very special movie, Cool Runnings, the 1993 film about the Jamaican bobsled team that went to the Calgary Winter Olympics in 1988. I gotta admit, this movie I've got a very special connection to you because at that time I actually had family members working for the University of Calgary where the Olympics took place. So this is kind of a special touchstone for me. There's a few things in this movie that they got right and a few things that were definitely made up. So let's take a look at those elements and then you decide which ones are real and which ones are real. Let's take a look. In the movie, there are quite a few memorable characters, including the coach, John Candy as Irving Irv Blitzer, as well as several members of the Jamaican bobsled team with names like Yul Brynner and Sanga Coffee. I love that one. So the first question for you is, are those characters real? as in, were they real life people? Or were they characters invented for the movie itself? What do you think? Well, the answer is, believe it or not, they are made up for the big screen. There are fictional characters that are based on actual people, but those characters themselves, they were made up. They never really existed. I was actually kind of bummed to find out that Sanka Coffee was not a real person. Also, according to the movie, the team was formed by Jamaican sprinters who had failed to qualify for the 1988 Summer Olympics. But what I find really interesting is that, in reality, the team was formed by members of the Jamaican Air Force. In the movie, we learned that the Jamaicans are the only team from the Caribbean and Central America to compete in the Winter Olympics in the four-man sled competition. We see them getting out of the airport walking into bitter cold minus 25 degrees Celsius weather, which is minus 13 degrees Fahrenheit for all of us here in the States. Upon getting hit with a sudden cold, they decide they want to turn back and just go back where they came from, having never seen snow before. So out of these events, what do you think? Do you think those were pretty true to life? Or do you think the majority of it was dramatized for the movie? Well, this is one of those things where, as much as it sounds like fun, uh, it actually isn't true at all. The U.S. Virgin Islands and Netherlands Antilles also competed that year uh, in the Winter Olympics, also for the same event. Now, the thing about the weather, this is what I find interesting. It was actually unseasonably warm. Daytime highs were 16 degrees Celsius or 61 degrees Fahrenheit. For Winter Games, that's downright toasty. In the most pivotal moment of the story, the Jamaican bobsled team is on their third run when they lose control because of a malfunction and crash their sled spectacularly. Not to be devastated, they get out, they pick up their sled, put it on their shoulders, and carry it across the finish line. So, what do you think? In that pivotal scene, was it mostly accurate? Or was it mostly made up? What do you think? Well, I was a little disappointed to find out that it was, for the most part, made up. Now, the crash did actually happen, but it didn't happen the way it was depicted on screen. They actually crashed on their fourth run and not their third, and they never placed for metal contention. They never got faster than a minute, and they would have had to do at least 48 seconds to qualify. Also, they didn't crash because of a malfunction. They crashed simply because of human error. They were inexperienced with the machinery, which was to be expected because they were a relatively young team. The other thing is when they did crash, they didn't lift the sled on their shoulders. Rather, they righted it and then pushed it across the finish line, which was still very inspiring to the people there. But the reality is they didn't lift it. They just pushed it. It's a lot more dramatic the way we see it, and it definitely gets the point across. So, turning it back to you guys, how did you do? Were you surprised, as I was, to find out how dramatized this movie was? I really wanted the bulk of this movie to be true, and the spirit is really there. 
The Jamaican bobsled team was the underdog and they did a fantastic job given what they had. And everyone who watches this is as inspired to this day. Even the people who were there witnessing the events talk about how inspiring the team was. But it was very heavily dramatized. And in Disney fashion, it's more about the spirit of the story than the letter of the story. Now, if you found this as interesting as I did, be sure to leave a comment down below and let Katie Beth know what you thought. I'll be back really soon with another edition of Real or Real. Throwing it back at you, Katie Beth. Happy holidays, everyone. Thanks, John. That was a great video. I didn't know any of that stuff, but now I do from watching this episode of Real or Real. Thanks, John, for being on the show today, and thank all of you for watching, and Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs>